What's up everyone? Plant 21 is here. Uh, today hopefully will be our first day of planting corn. And we have a new planter. So two years ago we demoed a PL5700 and it was actually still a uh, prototype model. It was like their final prototype um, and then it went to production and now they are in production. It's a 16 row uh, central fill. It has, hi Crosby, it has IRC uh, row units um, so instead of chain drive or hydraulic drive it's electric motors um, driving the, the seed meters. And uh, so we're pretty excited about it and ready to get using it. So we have these uh, Martin Till row cleaners and then it's a two by two uh, fertilizer placement there. So you have turn compensation and you can change your population from the cab. And uh, it's very simple so you don't have to have uh, more hydraulics or um, chain drive. They put these spoked gauge wheels on for us, which will be good in, in wet conditions and um, just are pretty nice. And then these, their spider closing wheels on for us, which is good for uh, no-till and closing. And then the uh, drag chains. We've never had those, but we're gonna give them a try and see how we like it on, on our soil. Overall, it'll be um, a nice, uh, simple planter, but also have some really nice uh, features and really nice technology to do um, precision farming. So if you guys remember, our last planter was a 12 row, and this one's a 16 row. So we got a little wider, um, wider planter now, and then we've got the central fill tanks up on top, which before we had to fill each individual box on each row um, to fill with seed. So now we can just put seed in the top, it goes to each row, it'll be a lot easier. And of course, because it's a 16 row instead of a 12, um, we sold the 7410 and upgraded to a 7215R um, to, to pull a larger planter. And so that's a big part of why we traded the tractor, um, just because we, you know, we got by with the 12 row for a long time, and and the 7410 was was maybe maybe even a little small for the 12 row, um, but now we definitely um, have a tractor that matches the size of our planter. All right, next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get my truck here and we're gonna put seed in the planter and the seeds over here in the barn. Um, we don't have a heated shop yet, so we just keep the seed in the barn here and uh, we'll take it over to the planter and uh, I'll put the seed in. All right, so what we're starting out with is this PO805 right here. That's what we're gonna put in our first field. And uh, I think I think Kendall already uh, put one bag in, so I've just gotta load up three bags. Not a big job by any means, but still gotta be done. Bag number three. That seed is going to make lots of corn to fill that bin. Actually, that's probably not true. This seed that we're using here, short season stuff, that's going to be silage. So, cow chow. Hashtag not cows, maybe cattle. Cattle chow. Possibly cows. Possibly steer. Possibly heifer. So many possibilities. Uh, that talc stuff that Greg was talking about is, it's essentially a seed flow lubricant. Keeps from plugging, keeps it flowing out the bin. All right, we've got the seed loaded 
and uh, they're gonna go out to the field and do a quick uh, speed calibration because this planter has never been used before. So uh, we're gonna get everything calibrated and uh, then we're gonna put fertilizer in once we get out to the field. I'm gonna go get the semi and uh, take the fertilizer trailer out there. He's gonna pull it up real quick and then we'll head to the field for the first time, 2021. We've been using this trailer for uh, spraying, but we emptied out the the water and put put our fertilizer in here. And so it'll be used as a fertilizer trailer um, during planting season here. And then uh, during other parts of the year, when it's spraying season, we use it for spraying. So what they're doing with the speed calibration is they they drive a couple hundred feet um, there and then they'll they'll calibrate that with the planter. All right, so they're going to work on that speed calibration. Um, as you guys probably know, uh, it's been kind of a weird April. Um, normally we're planting corn mid-April, usually around April 15th is when we shoot for. Um, this year it was it was cold. It was like snowing on April 15th. So. Uh, we waited. Uh, it's been about 10 days now. Um, it's April 27th. I guess that's 12 days. Um, but uh, we're, we waited because we wanted the soil temperature to warm up and, and uh, just the overall weather conditions to be a little better um, than they were. It was really cold. It was in the 20s uh, overnight, a couple nights. And so uh, we feel really good about the, uh, the temperature and the, the soil conditions as of now. But now there's chances of rain uh, every day this week. And uh, we're hoping to, to get this planter rolling today and uh, at least get today to kind of work out the kinks and, and make sure everything's going. And then we'll see if we get tomorrow. There's a little bit of chance of rain tonight, um, but hopefully we'll get tomorrow as well and get a couple of good days in here this week. All right, we've got the uh, speed calibration done and we needed to adjust the depth a little bit. So they're going through and adjusting the depth on the back. And then I'm filling the fertilizer tank here. I'm sure you guys remember the video where Nathan went and picked up that pull, pull behind fertilizer tank and uh, we're going to get that hooked up eventually but here on the first day of planting we're just going to make sure everything's working kind of take one variable at a time then we'll hook up the trailer tomorrow probably and see if it's working so one step at a time. All right so we've gotten about half we got about half of the field done um, it's, it's just been a cloudy kind of wet day and so uh but it hasn't rained yet we thought it was going to rain today and it hasn't so i guess that's a blessing in disguise although we do want it to rain after we plant the corn to to help sprout it uh we got our fertilizer tank hooked up now and uh we think it's working okay there's there's it's dripping a couple places um so we'll need to get those fixed but it's not a huge deal i brought more seed out uh with the sidekick here and uh we're gonna nathan's gonna help me load that up up on the top of the planter there. All right, we got the seed put in. Nathan, your uh, shoulder is looking a little dirty there. Yeah, I don't even know where that came. I don't know. If, I don't think it was today. I think it was another day. Oh, there's stains. Leftover stains. Talk about this tank and why we got it. So we got it uh, because we do high rate fertilizer on our planter, so we're putting um, a lot of our nitrogen down when we plant. So we're filling, uh, or we're putting a lot of gallons down, like 30 or more gallons per acre. Um, so this allows us to plant for like 60 acres at a time instead of like 15 acres at a time. So it makes a big difference. Yeah, it's a lot more fun when you don't have to fill fertilizer so many times. It's kind of a pain to stop every 15 acres. But it's also very valuable to be able to put the fertilizer two by two because um, then the plant can use it very efficiently. In so, Kansas, that, that's a pretty common practice. Yeah, and because sometimes we don't, don't get rain, so it's nice to have the nitrogen in the ground next to the plant where it, it has water in the ground and then it has its fertilizer and we don't have to rely on rain to get it down uh, to the roots. Because it's pretty dry in the summer in Kansas. Alright, 
so first time in our new uh, planter tractor cab here on YouTube we've got our Topcon X35 monitor right here that we're running the planter with and then behind me you can see the PL5700 planter and the uh, fertilizer cart behind it so uh, we'll get started here um, we've already planted I think about 45 acres and so I haven't really filmed much uh, of the first 45 acres because we were still kind of figuring stuff out uh, but I'll get some footage for you guys of this next 45 hopefully all right so here's the view from the cab as we plant the uh, x35 is really nice because it puts everything onto one screen instead of having you know a whole bunch of screens now this is our tractor control so um, you know you, you don't get that on here but other than that you just have the two screens having 16 rows is, is really nice compared to 12. Um, 12 is a little uh, undersized for our farm probably as we've grown a 16 row planter is definitely it was definitely needed um, compared to our 12 row it's been a real cloudy day real foggy day it's kind of weird to be uh, planting when it's foggy it doesn't it's not really causing any issues um, it was supposed to rain last night um, and then there was going to be a 50 percent chance of rain tonight they took both of those out and we ended up with this fog and then it's supposed to be really nice the next two three days so we'll probably um, have a, a really nice stretch here where we can get a lot planted um, but then we've got to cross our fingers and hope for hope and pray for a rain after that um, we're definitely not short on moisture right now the the soil conditions are, are about perfect um, maybe even a little on the on the wet side but we definitely want to get started here because we're already a little we like to start planting in mid-april and of course mid-april was pretty uh it was pretty cold and and, and wet as well and so um, it's pretty much go time and uh hopefully we'll get done well we finished the field and uh as we were finishing it started raining so it's just a light little just a light little rain, but uh, we did finish our first field today. What a deal. How do you think it went? Good, it waited to rain until we got done and we had some startup slowdowns, which is normal. normal so, But we're but. a little bit more in full swing now and uh, yeah. I don't think it's supposed to rain very much. We should be, mm. should be good to go tomorrow. Don't jinx it though. I Knock know. on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> he's got it, he's got it. Okay. I always jinx stuff. I'm really bad at that. One time in college, I was uh, watching a basketball game, Wichita State basketball game with my roommate. And uh, I, I said, I can't believe they're gonna win this game or something. And they were ahead by like 12 points with like two minutes left and then they lost, so. His roommate was pretty bad at him. He was. Well, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video of us getting started planting with our new PL5700 uh, planter and our, our Topcon monitor, uh, X35 monitor, and then our new planter tractor as well. So lots of new stuff uh, today, and uh, hopefully everything will keep, keep working out great for us. So remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, leave us any questions you might have in the comments. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for the next planting video.